In the previous video in this series, we learned how to add new posts to our WordPress powered website. In this video, we'll take a look at how to edit existing posts. In the posts subpanel, hovering over any row in the list will display action links that allow you to edit, delete, or view your post. Quick Edit is a handy inline editing tool which allows you to update the details for an individual post. You can change the title, the permalink or slug, and you can edit the date and timestamp for the post, even selecting a future date if you'd like this post to be automatically published at a specific date and time. You can also add a password to make the post only visible to readers who first enter the selected password, or make the post private only visible to you and the other site admins. You can change the categories in which this post will appear, add tags, enable or disable comments and pingbacks, or change the status of the post. Checking Make This Post Sticky will force this post to stay at the top of your chronological list of articles on your blog page, even after you create new blog posts. And you can choose from the available post formats to change how this post appears on your site. Remember to click the update button to apply any changes you've made here. While Quick Edit is a handy way to edit the details of a post, to edit the actual content of a post, simply click the edit link to bring up the post in the editor, which we reviewed in the previous video. Make your changes, then click the update button to save your changes to the post. You can also edit multiple posts at once. First, select the post you wish to edit using the checkboxes. Then select Edit from the Bulk Actions drop-down menu and click Apply. You can change the metadata, the categories, tags, author, or other parameters for all the selected posts at once. To remove a post from the group, just click the X next to its name in the Bulk Edit area. Again, don't forget to click Update to save your changes. You can also delete posts by clicking the Trash link. And if you've ever accidentally deleted a file, then you'll appreciate that this function simply moves the post to the trash, where it may be recovered any time within the next 30 days. Click the Trash link at the top of the page to view all the items that are currently in the trash. Restore them or delete them permanently. Well, so far we've learned how to create and edit posts. In the next video, we'll learn how to use categories and tags to organize our posts and make it easy for our readers to find related content.